All righty. Bear with me. This is going to be the first video to the YouTube channel. My name's Eric. This is my garage at home right now. And we're going to go over briefly my plans, my future, my goals, what I want to do with the channel, what I want to do with life, uh, and just get this channel off and jumping. Um, so first off, welcome. I think I'm going to stick with the name Project Quit My Job. Seems fitting, uh, but it might change. I don't know. So far, I have like a stupid uh, little UTV video. I just wanted to see how posting a video to YouTube was. So I filmed that over the summer when I was at a little race, um, just to kind of like see how this camera did on my phone and to see what it was like uploading and that kind of thing, get the channel just started literally um, to put something up real quick. And then since then, I filmed a lot on my GoPro, uh, but I need to get some editing software for my computer and get to like actually editing videos. So for now, it'll probably just be phone videos for the first couple or first. <laughs> I don't know how many um, but yeah I do have a GoPro I do plan on probably getting a G7X uh, in the near future the GoPro is alright but I don't know I gotta get like a mic for it and see see how I like it uh, filming with it a lot more um, so far it's been good but it has problems turning off on me all random but yeah welcome to the channel I hope you guys will subscribe like comment give me some feedback um, tell me what you think of the videos, the content, and that kind of thing. It will definitely be great, greatly appreciated. Uh, but like I said, just bear with me. Uh, you know, you gotta start somewhere. Some of these videos might be a little off compared to, you know, what you're used to seeing on YouTube, but I guarantee you there will be some dope-ass content coming. Um, dope cars coming. Lots of builds and... Uh, just cool things uh, that I'm trying to do. A little bit of co car shows, a little bit of drifting, a little bit of drag racing, uh, and just a lot, a lot of car content. My life has been based around cars since I can remember. Basically since about 14, building my first car, or truck I should say. Um, but yeah, my name is Eric. Let's get to the shop. Walk around, walk through. I say shop, but it's not a shop. It's just my garage at home. This is it. Uh, basically, this is just a two-car home garage. I have the divider in the middle, which sucks because you can't just pull cars right in the middle. But um, I'm in the process of drywalling it up, just make it look a little nicer, make it warmer. That's the main thing. I had to put, you know, like a drop ceiling type deal in because it was just open. So I've done three quarter inch plywood, lots of two by four bracing in between the beams and uh, some lighting to get things going just cause I've done a lot of work out here in the last year. But yeah, basically we bought the house last year and I've been working on the garage ever since and also working in the garage ever since. So I just built me a little workbench when we first got here. Uh, that is a toolbox that was given to me. Most of my tools and stuff right now are hand-me-downs and, you know, people's leftovers. So I've made it work, but I'm in the process of buying a lot more tools for myself. Well, obviously for me, but lying, buying a lot more tools um, instead of getting them given to me and stuff. Buying a lot more of what I need and want instead of just, you know, getting by with what I have. One of them is... Uh, the circular saw, the chop saw, because I've been doing a lot of woodworking stuff. So, chop saw is great. Uh, DeWalt 20 volts are great. That was one of my main things. Got tired of breaking bolts loose, so that motherfucker just kills it. Absolutely great impact. Half inch drive, just best you could get, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I was given these shelves. I have it somewhat organized, but not really organized either. Um, but yeah, I've outgrown the space. I got 
shelving and stuff everywhere. Uh, try to get you guys flipped around here. More shelving along that side. And then we got the first car you'll see for the channel. This is my RSX uh, 2002. It was pretty stock when I got it, about 180,000 miles on it. Ran like a top, great car. Uh, wide bodied it, wrapped it, um, completely transformed the interior from tan to black with a lot of custom suede headliner, B pillars, that kind of thing. Just made the interior look really good, made the outside look really good. Took it to some car shows last year, had fun. Um, but the engine and engine bay and everything just needed a complete overhaul. So I went ahead and yanked the motor out uh, pretty much right after the car season last year. And since then, I have gotten the bay completely shaved, ready for a tuck, um, ready to go. The bay will be freaking beautiful uh, that's a trans sitting over there there is a k24 sitting over there for it um there is some three-piece wheels under that <laughs> i know it's hard to tell what some of this shit is but yeah uh got some parts over here a couple spare turbo kits and whatnot um but yeah got the drywall on the walls basically all done huge transformation like all that was drywalled originally, none of this was, and basically none of it was insulated either. So the insulation, the drywall helps a lot. Um, still gonna insulate and drywall the ceiling and make this garage look very nice. Um, I've done a lot to fix up this house. It's not like it had to have it, but it did. You know, it has. It's not an old house, but it's like 20 years old, so. And then also, you know, with it just being a garage, it just needed it, you know, for it to be a, a nice looking garage instead of just a garage. Um, but yeah, K24A, JDM, um, originally automatic transmission motor, three piece, uh, water cooled industries, the racist brand, but we won't talk about that. Um, I love their wheels hate their owner but yeah this is it for the rsx you will see the engine bay get painted um full wire tuck i got k tuned harness you know the whole nine yards i've spent about six thousand dollars on parts for this car over about the last six months and i put a ton of work into it so hopefully at the end of it it will be a it's going to be a different wide body than i ran last year but wide bodied rsx Stuck with the five-speed transmission, upgraded to the K24A, full wire tuck, um, ABS delete, full stainless steel line, brake lines for the entire car. Got a whole kit for it. Um, E85, dash six and eight fuel lines, uh, wall barrel pump. Um, what else? Uh, PLM header, just a whole bunch of goodies, man. I got all the nice looking goodies for the engine bay, but also a lot of nice performing goodies for the car itself. Um, it's gonna get a full tune by one of the best shops on the East Coast, Slow Motion. And it will be, you know, an all motor monster pushing what it can, nothing too crazy, but hopefully it'll just be a reliable, nice, fun, Oh yeah, I got airbags for it too. Uh, full full air ride for it. Um, NRG seats, uh, detachable wheel, just lots of goodies for this car. Lots of stuff to come on this car. It'll probably get wrapped again unless I somehow manage to paint it. But yeah, so that's the RSX uh, carbon hood up here. Super dusty, but um, very rare to see for the RSX. Usually you don't see that style on the RSX. Usually there's the, the like triple vented ones that go this way or the Mugen one, which has the goofy freaking hood scoop that I hate. 
But yeah, that's the RSX. It is sitting on a wooden cart with freaking caster wheels that I built from Harbor Freight. And it has not gotten a whole lot of love since then. Um, I almost got rid of it and traded it, or almost got rid of it and bought a different RSX. So that's why I kind of stopped working on it, but that fell through. The RSX is going to be freaking beast for this season. Full show car beast of a car it is going to be a beautiful car um what's missing is my miata that's outside i have a 1990 miata na red pretty stock motor wise just uh maintain maintained real well little intake header exhaust um humongous wing i have a top for it that i still have to put on so i might do a top video even though there's plenty on YouTube. Uh, yeah, new soft top will go on. That thing will get drifted, shredded, destroyed, probably over the summertime, because I'd like to get into drifting. I've never done it before on an actual track. I've you know done it on the streets and the snow, that kind of thing, but never actually done it on a track. So that'll be one of the big things I'm filming this year too, my entry into drifting with a Miata. So yeah. Tell me what you think, guys. Um, I know a lot of you can relate. This is what I'm working with for now. But big changes are coming. We are going to get a shop very soon. I should know within a couple weeks. Um, be on the lookout for that video. Uh, let me set you guys back up here real quick. So, yeah. We should be knowing here in a couple weeks if... The shop is going to be like 100% ours. I'm going to be renting it, so it's not actually going to be mine. But right now I'm looking over the lease terms and uh, have an appointment to go to the shop next week and talk it out with the landlord about renting it. Um, it's going to be kind of tough. I have to work my job with the money from that, rent this place out, and then somehow slowly over the next couple months transition into starting my own business quitting my job and going full-time with probably wraps you know any any type of vehicle repair i can find and do you know brake jobs oil chains that kind of thing uh, like i said wraps um ceramic coating detailing that kind of stuff uh and then probably a whole plethora of other random stuff, performance type stuff. I'd really like to get into uh, doing exhaust and stuff like that for people. Um, thinking about calling it show car quality, I think is gonna be the name of the place. Um, I gotta get my LLC business license and everything, my tax ID, and uh, I'm gonna do it legit. I'm gonna fully start my own business and you guys will be able to see it firsthand, how I do it, the struggles I go through, how it turns out, the whole nine yards. I know it's a dream for a lot of people to quit their job and start their own business, and uh, that's why I want to put it out on YouTube for you guys. So, um, yeah, car show quality. Be on the lookout for that. Um, CSQ, if you want to call it that, you know, something short, shorter, but car show quality is just going to be, you know, quality detailing, ceramic coating wraps work on you know repairs on cars and upgrades to cars so yeah uh, i also have a civic ep3 if you guys know what that is it's basically shares a lot of the rsx parts um 2002 civic si ep3 hatchback white super clean body super clean shell but that's all it is right now is a shell i need everything for that car so you will see me slowly but surely chip away at the RSX, get that ready for car show season. You will see me slowly but surely chip away at the Miata, even though I've done a lot of stuff that I needed to do on that car already. There's still a couple more things I need to do to it to get it drift, drift spec or ready for the drift season. Um, and then probably really, really slowly chip away at the EP3 that's sitting in my mom's garage because I ran out of space at my house to park more cars. And I'm probably going to buy another car, actually. The neighbor who is helping me out a lot with starting my business has a 
oh four to oh six or seven or eight uh, Subaru Impreza. I don't even think it's a WRX. I think it's non it's non turboed, real base model freaking Subaru black, a lot of rust. Uh, but I'm getting a super good deal on it, so I'm gonna buy it up, scoop it up, see what I can do with it. Probably go ogre fenders on it, uh, maybe some wheels. Or just spice up the new, you know, the old ones or whatnot. But it'll probably be a flip car or just my like winter beater, so I can turbo the Miata and don't have to drive the Miata every day. Cause I am driving the Miata in Ohio in January in the weather and have been since I bought the thing. So wasn't my original plan with the Miata at all, but it's turned into my daily driver. So I'll probably buy the Subaru just to get another daily driver. Um, plus I've never owned a Subaru, so I figured why not, you know, plus he's just giving me too good of a deal, so, yeah, be on the lookout for like four freaking different car builds, possibly more, because I'm constantly buying them, um, so yeah, a lot of car builds, of personally, personally, of mine, uh, be on the lookout for stuff, like, I'm do I do stuff to my girlfriend's car all the time, and friends and family's cars all the time, um, so be on the lookout for that, friends and family cars, uh, upgrades and then yeah the whole business side of it too should be coming within the next few weeks month at the latest I want to be moved in by March 1st I want to be moving in by March 1st I want to have the key and everything so the next month should be pretty epic as far as starting the business goes and you'll be able to see me struggle and pinch pennies and get by so, yeah, with that, I am out of here. You guys have a good one. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace out.